The man who shot and killed University of Utah football star Aaron Lowe was sentenced to prison today. I'm Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser. There was a lot of crying and at one point even screaming. And send that to the board at that time. Tears fall down the cheek of Book Book, the man who shot and killed University of Utah football star Aaron Lowe. But the emotion has nothing to do with this. That's problematism. This is a um a Sudanese guy, man. That's, That's an indigenous bad. dude. University yeah, yeah. of Utah football star Aaron Lowe. But the emotion has nothing to do with his sentencing. Courtroom unrest was caused by his friend or family member. I'm not fighting you. Leave me the f alone. If the rest of you can't control yourself. Oh, hold on. Wait a second. His family was the one acting like ass. He executed this football player. He got kicked out of a party. Uh, he was asked to leave. He, he crashed a, 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 um, a college party. Uh, I think he was a teenager at the time. He crashed the college party. He was asked to leave. He came back with a gun. It's a hundred people standing outside the party, um, just drinking and whatnot, milling around. And he walked up to that football player and executed him in front of everybody and just ran off into the night because he was asked to leave the college party. And now his family is in court. And holler, and that's one thing about black people um, that I find disgusting, man. Like, you gotta go to court and see this motherfucker who did some egregious shit to whatever, and you gotta sit there stoically because you're in a courtroom, and that's the decorum of a courtroom. Yet their family is yelling, "Baby, we love you!" Oh my God, God. <laughs> And you got to sit there stoically while the fucking murderer's family is in there fucking hooting and hollering. And you're lucky if they don't, tr if they're not mean mugging you and eyeballing you and shit. Attacking you. They definitely are. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> it's insane. No decorum. It's insanity, my G. Um, fucking insane, man. It's DNA. University of Utah football star Aaron Lowe, but the emotion has nothing to do with his sentencing. Courtroom unrest was caused by his friend or family member. I'm not fighting you. Leave me the f alone. If the rest of you can't control yourself. <laughs> and these people in Utah, they've invited this. They've They've brought in all these Sudanese and all these black people. They've um, wanted to make Utah more um, diverse. As I showed you before, the whole entire Utah Salt Lake City um, school board, the whole fucking school board was black. Um, but they've demanded this. And, I'm, and I can guarantee you they don't understand this now. They're looking at this and they're like, like just look at the look on his face. He's probably been in the judge. He's probably done thousand cases in his Utah courtrooms, and he's like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah, this bladder <laughs> looks hurt right now. He looks genuinely hurt. Yeah, this is what, what have we done to these people? Is what he's thinking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hello. If the rest of you can't control yourself. <laughs> The disturbance at the start of the sentencing quickly dissolved when Lowe's parents took the stand. But that night, Mr. Book Book put a hole in my heart that if I had 10 more children, would not feel. It's been two and a half years since Lowe was shot and killed at a party in Salt Lake City. A woman was also shot, but she survived. Night, we got the news of Aaron's life being taken. Even though we didn't know it, we forget it. I have no forgiveness in my heart right now. And I hope God. That's right, mama. That's right, mama. Don't forgive that ape. That goddamn simian. <laughs> That's a damn simian right there, man. Don't forgive his ass. Credo. We forget it. I have no forgiveness in my heart right now. And I hope God deal with me on that and fix my heart. But no, I don't forgive it. Book shared a statement to the court apologizing to the Lowe family. I was lost and I didn't know any better. I was 19 years old and I got incarcerated. 
I'm 21 years old now. I'm not you a law you didn't you you so it's it's the fact that they incarcerated you pre on a previous crime was the reason you killed <laughs> yo man speaking of that shit, when i was in elementary school one of those black parents actually named one of their fucking kids simeon i was like yeah that's a common name simeon there's a good as a, a, a famous football player named simeon, simeon right? I was like, oh my fucking Christ. There's a high school named here after him, uh, or whatever. Uh, D. Yeah, Rose Simeon. That's, that's what Derrick Rose went. Um, yeah, that's, a, that's a powerhouse, man. Um, salute to um, Steve, man. Steve said, it's Tiger Month on the federal calendar. What about checking Hawaii, Guam, or San Francisco? All right, well, we'll do... Um, we do Hawaii next, man. Why not, man? Why not go to Hawaii? See what's going on, man. Um, is there sons there? Listen, if there's crime there, it listen. Think about it. like we did Honolulu maybe a couple of years ago, right? And the the homicides were all sons or um, Samoans. Okay. Yeah. 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 And Samoans gotta live there. About one percent of the population. <laughs> and it was like all every shooting, public shooting, and homicide was a son or some more. All of them. What was the ratio of that? Do you remember? What do you mean? Like how many sons approximately to how many some more? Like like, half. Like, like half and half? Yeah. Shit. It wasn't much. It wasn't much, but it was just like whatever there was. Yeah, Bible? yeah, but the Samoans outnumber them a lot, right? Well, maybe not. I don't know. There's a lot of whites in Hawaii. Now. I'm not exactly sure. No, I mean, like, we're talking about discharging weapons in public. No, yeah, I'm just saying. I just wonder how much they out. Oh, they yeah. out. I'm 21 years old now. I'm no better. Judge Paul Parker sentenced him to at least 18 years to life for low. 18 years to life? But executing that kid was going to the NFL. He was a, he was a cornerback. He was one of the top rated cornerbacks in the country. Um, I'm, and I don't know if this guy this guy didn't know he was a football player. He was just some guy at the party where he got, you know, like I'm sure the football players was like, hey, dude, you can't, you know, because you know how like when you when when, when the football players are the ones that's gonna come confront the guy, like, hey, man, you gotta leave here, man, da 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 da, and. He came back and executed that brother, man. Um, I I just I eighteen years, man. Are you kidding me? Eighteen years. He gets out in fifteen. Yeah, he's gonna kill again. Oh, definitely. He he really should be in there for forever. This is a terrible act. You can simply not fix it. Not anything that can be done or said to fix this. The judge said that the woman who was arrested in court Monday will be in jail for 10 days. Reporting in Salt Lake, Emily Tensor Fox. Man, this is what you get when you bring them out there, man. He's, um, he's going to be too young when he gets back out, man. Still going to be violent as fuck. Uh, man, this is... This is... Uh, man, this is the type of stuff you get, man. Um, See, I would have thought that judge may have gone like way harder because it was black on black, right? If it was black on white, I could understand the 18 years, but like.